Okay, so I just wanted to talk really quickly about the upcoming uh, splits for Apple stock and for Tesla stock. Now, August 18th and August 24th are right around the corner. So basically, I would assume that most people, if they haven't already bought in, they're deciding what they're going to do with whatever money they've been able to scrounge together in order to get ready for these investments into Tesla and Apple. But I wanted to just make this video just to give you a, a second possibility, like rather than just going whole hog on just these two stocks. So first of all, Apple today is up to $459 a share at the close of the market today. So Apple right now is sitting at $1.965 trillion. More than likely, it probably won't even be by Wednesday that Apple is sitting on $2 trillion and they'll be the world's first $2 trillion company. Now, let's just think real quickly about Apple. I'm not going to go too much into this because I think I've probably already said this. A lot of the people who are buying Apple stock, one thing you got to understand is most of these people, they're buying it and they're using it as a long-term investment for retirement strategy. They're not selling their Apple stock, and especially after they've seen what's happened within the last, I'll say, the last 10 years. Apple had another split five years ago where... Um, Anybody who had the stock, obviously, had a split. And then they saw their split stock run right back up to, what is it, $459. So it was $90. And off of every single share that they bought, they are up $459. So $459 minus, what, $90? $369 worth of profit. Apple, in my opinion, has no competition. Nobody else can make anything that Apple makes. Apple Watch is untouchable. It's the greatest selling watch in the history of watches. Even Mickey Mouse watches didn't sell this many watches. Rolex never sold this many watches. Apple moves $500 watches, $400 watches, $300 watches easily. Then supposedly they've got some new stuff coming out. They've got Apple TV, they got subscription services, they got iPhone. Bottom line is nobody can compete with Apple. There's a bunch of Android makers. They all compete with each other. Their products are second rate to Apple. Apple knows it. They don't even have to say it. Everybody knows it. The world's breath is held waiting for Apple to announce what's the next thing that they got coming out. And unlike Steve Jobs, Tim Cook seems eager to please us by releasing new stuff. So the bottom line is people, I think, trust Apple. Apple is moving their creation of their product to India. I'm not sure exactly how profitable they'll be, but considering India's poverty rate, most likely Apple will be quite profitable in India, just like they were in China. So here's the thing. Apple's doing a four to one split. So that means if you were to be buying in right now, hopefully you already bought in if you were going to buy in. But if you bought in right now, $459 divided by four is still about $114. So let's say you invest $1,000 into Apple, right? So that's $1,000 divided by 100 and I'll just round it up to 15. So that would be 8.69 shares. So you'd only have 8.69 shares. The thing about it is, if you held on to the stock with no intent to sell it, let's imagine that in the future, Apple did another split. Let's imagine just like what happened before when we bought in the first time in uh, five years ago. Let's just happen to imagine that 8.69 shares. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to round that to, let's say, 10 shares. Let's say an even 10 shares. If you had 10 shares times $115, that's a thousand one hundred and fifty cents. So one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars is how much it would cost you to have ten shares right now if you bought in right now. So ten shares times let's imagine it goes back to four hundred dollars. You've got four thousand dollars minus one thousand one hundred and fifty. So basically you would have made two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars profit. This is all theoretical, by the way. Now, if you're holding on to your shares. Apple continuously splits their shares every couple of years, like four or five years. Basically, what they do is they wait and they think, oh, well, are people buying into the stock right now? 
okay, if they're not buying into stock right now, let's uh, do a share split so we can make it more affordable for people to buy in. The problem is their value keeps on increasing. So here's the thing. They're trying to make it affordable so millennials and Generation Zers who actually have money can buy into their stock. Let's say you have just 10 shares. That could always split down the road and that 10 becomes, I don't know, they're doing a four to one, right? So you could have 10 shares right now that becomes 40 shares five years from now. Now, I can't be 100% certain they'll do another four to one split, but I believe the last time they did like a seven to one split. So however many shares you had then turned into seven, and then those seven are now about to turn into, uh, or I'm sorry, five years ago, those seven turned into, in, or, or they're about to turn into seven times four. So, you, you know, you, basically, bottom line is this. They keep splitting their shares. So no matter what you hold, you're going to have more later on. This is all theoretical, by the way. I'm running numbers by you real fast. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, you know, it's like it's easier for you to just leave a comment. But anyway, Apple pays a dividend. Apple pays right now a 0.71 dividend yield, which is down from 0.89. Holding on to your Apple stock pays you money. Investors who bought into Apple stock and continue to reinvest in Apple, they're getting dividend payments every year. Apple remained profitable even when coronavirus crashed the economy. Apple continued to pay out its dividend while the airline stocks didn't. So let's just think about that. We don't know if there'll be another pandemic, but at least we know that Apple continues to pay out. Tesla does not pay a dividend. If you hold your Tesla stock, whatever the value is, you're not getting a dividend off of it. You just have Tesla stock, which has mostly been on a roller coaster for like the last, how should I say, five years. But for the most part, it's trended up despite this huge drop that was this year due to the shutdown of the manufacturing. I think it went down to like, yeah, it went down lower. It went down to like 300 or something. So wait, in fact, I have to do the six months. Yeah, it, it was as low as $361. So they're about to do a 5 to 1 split, right? So considering it's 1650 right now, if they do that split at 1650 right now, if you haven't already bought in, divided by 5, you're paying $330 a share. Here's the thing, though. For leaving your money in Tesla, you're not getting a dividend. And you're buying into Tesla hoping that it goes back to $1,000. I believe it's very easy for Tesla to rise back to $1,000 because they're releasing cars now that are affordable. The Model X is not affordable. The Model S is not affordable. But the Model Y and the Model 3 are doing great. And then they have the Cybertruck coming out. And supposedly the Cybertruck is supposed to be mostly parts from the Model Y and whatnot, with the exception of the flatbed. So, oh yeah, it's very possible Tesla could end up uh, right back at $1,000 in two or three years, or probably less. The thing about it is your money, if you're spending that same $1,000 that you'd spend on the Apple shares, or okay, let's say that $1,150 that would have bought you 10 Apple shares, $1,150 divided by 330 would only get you 3.48 Tesla shares. But Tesla doesn't pay dividends. Now, I believe Tesla could always do another split, but the problem is, while your money is sitting there, you get no dividend repayment. So, to me, it kind of makes more sense to spend your money on Apple. Now, just a disclaimer for the SEC, uh, past performance is not indicative of future performance. And I'm not telling you what to do. I'm just suggesting that your money is probably better with Apple at this point than it is with Tesla. Because the problem is... If you haven't already bought in or you didn't buy in during the March drop, it's going to cost you a lot to buy in right now. If you had bought in during March, you would have paid $361 for one share. And then you would have had, what, uh, five shares at the end of, what, next week or the week after next, whatever it is. So uh, that's just one thing I'm thinking. The other thing is for that same $1,150 that would have bought you 10 Apple shares, we also have other electric car manufacturers. There is Workhorse, Candy, and NIO. Now, NIO and Candy are both uh, Chinese. Now, what I really should do is add, if I haven't done it already, 
I really should add there's one more that I should add um Nicola Nicola if it's here or not I'm not sure okay fine I'm going to add Nicola now Nicola had a huge run up of their value of their share value Nicola Corporation yeah I think that's it 34 Nicola Corporation Nasdaq yeah this they make electric cars and electric trucks add to watch list like i like apple stocks because it's very easy to use i just don't like the fact it doesn't allow me to track my values but anyway okay so where's nicola let's bring that back up don't y'all android users wish your thing worked this well so simple so anyway okay so we've got Okay, so for the same $1,150, you could easily buy 100 shares of candy. Mind you, candy is about to put cheap electric cars onto the market. They're a Chinese car maker. Or you could easily, for that same amount of money, you could easily buy almost 100 shares. You probably have to add a little bit of money. I think right now it would be $1,300. But you could buy 100 shares of NIO. NIO is also making uh, cars. And they're also delivering electric cars right now. Because you got to remember, Europe and China are both pushing hard to have electric cars. Because I guess they're tired of choking to death on coal, oil, and gasoline and fossil fuel smog. So I guess Europe has already said that within a number of years, all the cars are going to be electric, period. China... They manufacture quickly, and they manufacture relatively efficiently. And the thing about it is um, you have a chance right now. If you haven't already bought into NIO, you have a chance right now. Let's see their, their performance over the last three months is trending upwards because now most of these investors are seeing that electric cars are definitely going to be a big thing. So they've been investing the same way they've been investing in Tesla. But anyway, NIO and Candy are both Chinese car manufacturers. And regardless what Trump thinks about uh, China, the simple fact is uh, China is going to be manufacturing these cars to sell to Africa, South America, all over the world, and even America. And pretty soon Trump won't even be in office, but China's been around 6,000 years. Trump is, you know, not going to be here very long. President Kamala Harris is going to be taking his job. So anyway, um, they have a huge market. They've got young kids. They've got more teenagers and young adults than America has people. 300 million plus. They've got way more. America is only like 350 million. These people have a lot of people and a lot of people are going to end up buying electric cars. So my guess is NIO, whether they're just manufacturing trucks and cars, right now, you're still relatively close to the bottom. Yeah, it's going to cost you more than if you bought in maybe a couple of months ago. But the thing about it is, if you buy it now, you could have 100 shares of NIO, and it would only cost you $1,300. Then there's Nicola. Now, Nicola has been pushed up because... Um, of investment mostly into Tesla, but they've got stuff coming. Now, you may not be able to afford as much Nikola for that same amount of money as you would put in Tesla. However, you don't know where Nikola's going. Now, they've got proof of concept and they got products ready to come. So my thing is, you might want to do some research and you might want to consider buying into them because they're close to $50 a share. What, what are they? Oh, God, we got these fart cans. You can hear it behind me. So anyway, um, within this week, this is what their performances look like. With this month, as you can see, their performance dipped considerably. There was a massive sell-off, and they're still getting that investment because these, these investors know they want a piece of that. They don't have a dividend yield or they're not paying dividends. So that's just one reason why you might consider just you know going for the other three companies. And then there's GM. GM, they have the new Escalade coming. They've got their new trucks and stuff coming. And GM 
over the last six months, as you could see, GM had a high close to the forty dollars, I believe, or thirty-five. And around March, when everything crashed, they were down here at sixteen. That was when I bought in. But even now, it's twenty-seven. You still have a chance to buy in if you're interested. But my thing is, I'd go for the cheaper ones first and buy the more expensive one later. But you already know who GM is, and you already know what GM does, and you already know what kind of products GM has. So this is not a company that's a stranger. Buying 100 shares of GM would be very costly. What is that? Uh, what is that? 27 point... Uh, whatever. It, yeah, that's going to cost you more. So $2,700 to buy GM. But the reason why I'm saying all this is because chances are a lot of people are going to scrape together all of their cash and they're going to bet on Tesla and Apple alone. While I feel comfortable betting with Apple for long-term investment, especially towards my retirement, even though I understand, I got out of Tesla because, you know, I, I got into Tesla in 2012 when it was only like $30. So I've made the lion's share of profit. Even, even if you bought it in March, it still costs you like $360-something dollars a share, $362 a share. I got in when it was $30. And I bought a sizable chunk of it because usually when I buy, I always try to buy at least 100 shares when you're talking about, uh, uh, you know, it's going to cost you two or $3,000. But the thing about it is I'm using YouTube money, so it really doesn't hurt me that much. But um, this is just something I wanted to run by you. And you can think about it. You could do it however you want to do it. But you might want to consider other electric car manufacturers that are on the rise in addition to just Apple and Tesla. Also remember, GE manufactures engine parts. They're still relatively low. You can have 100 shares of GE. My God, 666. It's the number of the beast. 666 for GE. In fact, I, I'm going to take a picture of that. In fact, I'm going to do a screen cap. Yeah, we got 666. The number of the beast. But uh, anyway, um, GE is still relatively low right now, but they make engine parts and whatnot. Once aircraft travel comes back you're gonna see uh boeing and whatnot you're gonna see them you know getting back to business because they're part of military industrial complex they're not going anywhere i call them lockheed light they're not going anywhere anytime soon your tax your last tax dollar will be spent on missiles before it's spent on poor people i can promise you that so boeing and all these airlines are still relatively in their lows i mean JetBlue's lowest was like $8 and something within, uh, what was that, March? Yeah, $7.15. But JetBlue is still relatively low because it's still around eleven forty eight. I think it can go down again to about $10. Because if you really look, over the past uh, week, it's been $10.93. So if you can get in, in the $10 range and you want to hold on to it for a long time, even though it's not paying a dividend right now, you can still get in there. The most that might happen is you might double your money off of them, but um, it's going to be a while before airlines are flying again. Uh, what else? Gulfport Energy. I warned people about this one. I, did, I didn't feel comfortable with this one, and as you can see, they've sunk back below a dollar. And uh, I'm glad I didn't put my oil money into Gulfport Energy. You know, it's like you have to get in when they're cheap. If you don't get in when they're cheap, it's like you just don't know. And... Um, the Chinese companies, you got to understand, as China's economy comes back, the Chinese companies are going to be making the highs. Now, right now, Trump is trying to start his nonsense with uh, TikTok and uh, Huawei and everything, acting like these guys are risking our uh, privacy. Meanwhile, Facebook, Twitter, and all these American companies, Facebook just got sued for, what was it? I think it was $500 billion or something like that. Because they found out that they're illegally using Instagram biometric data. So Donald Trump is busy trying to mess with TikTok. And meanwhile, you got in your own backyard, you got Facebook dealing with you in the background and doing the wrong thing. So, you know, that just shows you where we are. It, I feel like there are multiple corporations in a battle for my cell phone, if that makes sense to you. But, uh, yeah, that's just where we are. And the banks... All the banks are relatively in the green. Wells Fargo's in the green. Bank of America stocks that I have are in the green thanks to Warren Buffett secretly buying Bank of America stocks. I don't know what kind of nonsense he's trying to pull. 
We got Capital One, Citigroup, everything's doing okay, but they're still in their lows. So anybody wants to buy in, it's like, you know, these things are still relatively in their lows. Because you're going to have a lot of people defaulting on their houses and their rent. So AMD, Logitech, I told you all to buy in at $50 a share. I don't know how many people listened. I told you at 50 I I could have got you AMD. If I could have taken your money from you and just put it in there, I would have got you AMD at $47 a share. But, you know, if that's your money, I, I can't control your money. So that's whatever. Um, Warren Buffett bought into Siri. Uh, Siri, I don't know where Siri is going because the thing about it is they are a subscription service. A lot of these rich investors have put their money into subscription services. Problem is Siri is usually linked to cars and car sales. Right now, the car sales aren't moving that much. However, hey, you can get 100 shares for $598. So, you know, at, at this current price. So um, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to talk about. I just wanted to talk about this. The, you, you got two investment moments coming up. Hopefully nobody's stupid enough to borrow off of margin. I hope you're not using any borrowed money because that can disappear real fast. I mean, granted, there are people who have borrowed on margin to buy uh, stocks and they've done very well. I just do not recommend it. Even if you miss the opportunity, at least you don't lose your shirt. That's just how I feel about it. I'm hoping that Microsoft, because the way I see it, is, and, and I, I kept saying when I was talking about Apple stock split in my older videos that were like two weeks ago, I kept saying, oh, yeah, you know what? Tesla's probably going to end up doing the same thing and they're going to do a split. And sure enough, they're doing a five to one split. Chances are Amazon is going to end up doing a split because I, there's no way you're moving Amazon stock at thirty one forty eight. No way. But the thing about Amazon is they may not want to dilute their share values right now. But um, I'm thinking, especially considering where they are right now, you look at them over the last uh, week, you know, they're doing pretty well. But as you can see, the only people who can really afford to invest at that level are either fractional investors or rich people. So it's very, very possible that you might hear of an Amazon stock split. Now, a word to these goddamn CEOs. If you're going to do stock splits, and, and, and now I, I figured out the answer to my own question, do them in April when I get my tax return so that I can take my tax return just like I did this time and bet it on stocks after Trump's market crashed. But I think the reason why Apple and Tesla are doing their stock splits right now is because people were given until July to file their income tax and their tax returns, both state and federal, should be arriving at their houses by now, if not already. So my guess is the reason why they waited till now was because they wanted to capture as much of your income return from your taxes as they possibly could. Now, that right there is a conspiracy theory, and I just came up with that. So hopefully Tim Cook is sitting in his office, and Elon Musk is sitting in his office, and they're listening to this. I'm like, God damn, he got us. He, he caught us. Because it makes all the sense in the world. If you sell something when people are getting their tax returns, that means that more of them are likely to gamble on whatever your product or stock is. Don't hit me up for cash during the end of the summer. Or are you doing it because you know that I didn't get to go away this year to the Philippines or to Thailand or to Indonesia and I didn't spend that $5,000 on that round trip business ticket and I didn't get to rent that condo $4,000. So you must know, I bet you're listening to me right now, you must know that I had extra money in my pocket because this economy under coronavirus ruined my vacation for this year, and I didn't get to do anything. Meanwhile, last year during this time, I was sunning it up in the Philippines, the sunny Philippines. And this year, I didn't get to do anything except sit here and stare at a goddamn monitor. So my guess is that's what they planned. And I got to say, that was a pretty...